through the city. Today is our only free day. We have tours booked and a day on a boat booked. So this is our afternoon to meander. We're so excited to be in Sicily because it's totally different than any other part of Italy and it looks stunning. Those beaches, fuego. <laughs> Turns out other people have heard about our special holy grail. So we're not gonna do the half hour wait. We're gonna walk around and hope that it dies down by the time we go back, <laughs> fingers crossed. We had to make a game time decision because the place that we were going to get the granita at happened to be shut. <sighs> we had to resort to the old internet. And what did we do? Uh, we didn't get Granita and we went and got cannolis. <laughs> and they were freaking bomb. After 10 minutes of getting lost we're and walking here. in circles, we're here. So let's walk you through it with us. Turns out that the place that we were in, once again, happened to have the cannoli king. And cannoli king. He didn't let us down. Let's just say that even though it was a girl who made it, she didn't let us down. It was incredible. It was, it was life changing. There was our life yeah, before, before cannoli and after cannoli. And let me tell you, I don't feel like I lived for the first 25 and a half years of my life. Ready? Final product. Oh my god. I can't get over this filling. I'm trying to like describe it. I think I could live off of these for the rest of my life. Me too. These are actually incredible. And to be honest, the most impressive thing is that I hadn't spilled anything on myself. You go, Glen Coco! Shocking. It's literally shocking. But I wish that you can taste this. I think that this will be a daily visit for the rest of our trip. I vote yes. I vote a definite yes. Mm -hmm. Now to find water because that was very sweet. Lisa, break down the fit. Espadrilles. A dress. A candy purse that has handles and a strap. Also, secret compartment so it closes, no one can get their hands on my purse. Oh wow. Ooh, wow. Let's check out the ears. Nice. Not that excited, just keeping it low key, you know? The scene of the crime where we will not be returning. Lisa's worst fear. So some people have fears of flying, some people have fears of fire, some people have fears of drowning, whatever. We happen to have a different set of fears. Separate. Let's see if you even know my fears. What are my top two fears? As if I wouldn't know that. Okay, cat and get this one, wet paper. Except in the reverse order because my number one fear in life is of wet paper. It's disgusting and don't ever talk about it or print it near me. So by the way, if you're wondering, when we used to put temporary tattoos oh, okay. on. we can't talk about it. I had to put it, I had to put it on top it of triggers her. Triggers my gag. Yeah. Yes. I, I tried wearing water shoes to take swimming lessons because the fear of wet Kleenex on the pool ground. There's because always wet Kleenex. There's always something there's always in that Kleenex. drain circling. Ooh. Mine now, Elena, what are my fears? Uh, number one, pigeons. Number two, papaya. Uh, <laughs> wrong. Number no three, being pricked by a needle. Being pricked by a needle is number two. Papaya is just nasty. I'm not scared uh -oh. of it. I just freaking find it nasty because I don't understand why people like their fruit to taste like dirty onion fingers. Yeah. That's an opinion. You know, I don't even mind papaya, but yeah. My number one fear, wet paper. Elisa's number one fear, pigeons. And let me tell you, they are every freaking everywhere where in freaking Italy. Everywhere. Everywhere. That was so good. I can't stop thinking about it. I'm already dreaming about it. Same, I'm waiting for tomorrow to have another one. I can't wait, wait to wake up tomorrow and eat more cannolis. Now to walk somewhere so that we can say we walked and ate today, not just ate. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Day one in Sicily is done. So tired, we're gonna head back to our hotel room now, maybe relax for a few minutes and then get ready for dinner. Numero uno. First dinner, and we have an incredible view. This view, and this view. Why, thank you. Cheers. Wrong arm. No. You have to do with this arm. No. Yeah, but why would my right be your right? Because no, we go your left and my right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> if you master doing that, which is actually quite hard as you just saw, it's like mastering a perfect high five. Practically impossible. No, that's not. That's not. So we start off Syracuse with a tour of Greek theaters and Roman theaters. Anyhow, after that, we got to do a little food tour where we got to try one of the most interesting combinations we've had. <laughs> there are these little baby fish and apparently they're out of season right now and since they've been overfished, it's like Black Hard market to get. fish. It's like black market fish. It's like behind. You need the a plug. Scene. Yeah, you need a plug in me. We got the plug. And they were not overrated. They were incredible. Straight so, fire. Straight, straight fire. They were so good. Big flames. Can we say holy grail twice? Because like a lot of things are holy grail. Yeah, well you're either the worst or the best. So yeah. This there's is no the medium. It's yeah. It's 10 or 0. There are these two guys that are like whipping around some bread, some mixed assorted like deli meats that look fabulous. In Brazil, in Brazil, mais que nada. Yeah. Also, it was buffalo mozzarella, but also Parmesan. Parmesan Bay. <laughs> So after our day of touring, we came to get iced coffees at the hotel in all of that black, including the black on Elisa's arm, is from Mount Etna erupting. My skirt too. We almost didn't make it to Sicily because in the week before our trip was planned, Mount Etna was erupting. But while we were there, we definitely understood why they were suggesting perhaps not to go. It's called hotel. a natural disaster for a reason. <laughs> yeah, and they're explaining how it works if the if the volcano does erupt. And they're like, you do have an amount of time, but they were like, oh my God, oh my God. What did we so... get ourselves into? So we're mm -hmm. gonna die here. <laughs> okay. Double up on the cannolis, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> Put us down for a few each. About to start day three of the trip, day two of touring. We've been warned we have quite a hike ahead of us, so I think we slept under two hours, so this should be interesting. In preparation for evacuating from Mount Etna, we decided to hike. Mm, I wouldn't say we as much as we were forced into a hike and tried to make it seem like we were being athletic. Yeah, so we tried that out. Turns out it wasn't really our thing, but no. No, it's, there's it's no just, it's not our thing. Yeah. 20 steps in, throat's closing. Just starting our hike. A few moments later. We've been walking for about two minutes. Ready to pass out. Update, out of breath. But we're getting there. Yeah, this is where we are so far. Beautiful view of absolutely nothing. But when we get to the top, it will be worth it. As her girl Cheryl says, first cut is the deepest. <laughs> Quick update, five seconds later. Turns out it is pretty. Yeah. Okay, but 3,000 steps left to go. Let's do this. Lisa, are you behind me or have we lost you? So we're hiking up, hiking up. We get to the top, freaking finally. Wow, this is the view from the top. This is the other side. Uh, the mountain we just climbed. The view was actually incredible. It was really nice. And it was kind of worth it. I'll like, give it that. Yeah, fine. Like Sicily, you got one. Yeah. You got one for sure. You got like a lot. Yeah, a lot, a lot. But in this case, you win. We made it to the top. Mission accomplished. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. We decided to do a wine tour of Mount Etna. Alana, by the way, can pick up on literally every single flavor in a wine when she's trying it. It's like the weirdest it's thing so ever. It's so weird. It's the weirdest thing, but like, I don't know she, if the wine's $3 or $3,000, but I can tell you every ingredient. Every ingredient. Alana tried this wine from Mount Etna, and she was just like, it's amazing, but it's so weird. It's so different than anything I've had. I can't identify anything. So I was like, wow, this is getting real. It's getting really interesting now. You challenge the master. Yeah. We're back. Come on. 
Can't wait. This is our farewell to Sicily. Our last cannoli of the trip. Just checked in through security. Last time we're gonna see cannolis for a while. So one thing I don't understand is how birds manage to get their way into an airport and how they happen to know that I am deadly afraid of them. Two hours without food, starting to fade, getting exhausted. If I turn to the right, you will be able to see me. <laughs> don't plug yourself. Update, a pigeon has been found. How did you get there? So after this traumatic pigeon experience, it is time to board our flight. Time to go to Budapest and see what it has to offer. See ya! Just kidding, we're still here for another three hours because our flight is delayed. And we have to wait in the 45 degree heat. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification <laughs> bell. And follow us on Instagram.